Now, so this is our back and this is our sleeves and this is the front. We are going to add some more stitches right here. For medium, you're going to cast on 11. You do this by doing the backwards loop method. You roll your yarn in a circle, just like that. So I have my pointer finger and thumb and I just kind of make a loop. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and just to make sure because you want to continue the pattern seamlessly. So I look over here and I'm like, okay, I've got purl, slip, 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 purl, slip. And this is a purl, slip, purl, slip, purl, slip. So that continues with the pattern, which is great. If yours for some reason doesn't, then take a stitch off so that it continues with the pattern. Now we don't want to start our rows right here in the very front because you will see that seam. That's not pretty. And you're going to spend lots of time making this sweater. We want it to be as perfect as possible. So we will cut our yarn, leave a tail so we can weave that in later. And then you're going to transfer these stitches over on our right hand needle. We are now finally going to start knitting in the round. Yay! We are going to begin our round where the stitch marker is. And just so we know that this is the beginning of our round, we need to have a distinguishable marker. So what you can do is color this a different color or get a twisty tie, or just get a different color stitch marker so you know. I just found a little hair tie. That was faster than finding my other stitch markers, so we'll just use that for now. <laughs> for round one, you're going to knit each stitch after each marker so that we can continue on with this pretty little border. And that is how I'm going to add my yarn. So I put my needle from the front to the back, like we're knitting, make our yarn into a loop, leave a tail so you can weave it in later, and we knit. Now we're going to start the pattern, which is in the asterisk. Slip one with the yarn in front. We are now always working on the right side. So we need our little slip stitch to show in the front. That's why we're holding our yarn in the front now. Slip one with yarn in front, and then we purl one. Slip one with yarn in front, and purl one. And we know that we're doing this right by looking at what we did on our other stitch row. This is a purl, right? This bump, and then this is a slip. So we do the opposite. We are going to slip this one and purl this one. I can show you in continental. With the yarn in front, we slip, and then we purl. Slip. Purl. I just wanted to show you for round two. So I ended with, um, let's see, purl, slip, purl, slip, purl. Slip my first stitch marker. Now for round two, you're going to make sure your tail stays tight, <laughs> knit front and back, and then you just knit, knit, knit until one stitch before your marker, knit front and back, slip marker, knit front and back, what we've been doing. 
So you'll do eight increases, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then your last one will be your last stitch, eight. All right, we are going to get rid of our sleeves, start working on just the body only. So we removed our marker and now we're going to place all of our sleeve stitches onto either a scrap piece of yarn. And so all that you do is you just slip your stitches on the scrap yarn and then once you have them all on there, I would tie a knot so that they don't come loose. Or since I have the interchangeable needle set, I've got some extra cables and I just attached uh, larger needles on here so that I can just keep them on cord. So you can try that. This is a larger size, but what I'm going to do is use my smaller needles so that I can easily slip these stitches on this cable. Then I'll switch this to the larger size. Either scrap piece of yarn, which works just fine, or put them on an extra cable using your smaller size needle. Then when you're done putting them on, put a bigger size needle on there so that your stitches don't fall off. All right, let's remove this next marker. Let's take this one off, put our larger size needle on. And that'll stay just like that. Our little arm hole is going to be in the front of our work. For size medium, you're going to cast on seven. And the reason why is because we're going to start knitting in the round and we want our pattern to keep going. So we have our pearl knit, pearl knit, pearl. And this is pearl knit, pearl. So both of these are pearls. So we need to have an odd number in between this. If for some reason you have a pearl here and a slip here, then that's okay. Just cast on one more stitch to make it even. Okay, but both of mine end in a pearl. I am going to cast on an odd number, which would be seven. So just to be sure, we have our pearl slip, 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 pearl. Yay! It will continue on nicely. And let's join by knitting. Just like that. And we are going to knit all the way until we get to our next stitch marker. We're gonna take the stitch marker off. We are going to place these stitches onto a scrap piece of yarn or an extra cable needle. And we will do the same thing. Take the stitch marker off. We will cast on seven using the backward loop method. And then knit, 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 knit. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> There's my second sleeve and this is my first sleeve. And I am back to, here's my front and I just finished the front and then these are the stitches that I cast it on. And we're needing to start the beginning of our round. And if you want to make your seam, cause you can kind of see your seam and you want it in between the stitches that you casted on. So like we casted on seven, obviously it's an odd number. So you would do like four and three, then you can totally do that. If you're going to, then I would knit your four stitches, place your marker, and then begin the round, which would be the slip pearl, slip pearl. So let's do that. I'm actually, I'm doing a smaller size, even though I told you I'm doing casting on seven. So if that confuses you, don't let it. This is my front. What we're going to do, we just make sure, let's see, we slip this one, pearl, slip, 
pearl, which means we are going to do the opposite, which would be pearl, slip, pearl, slip, pearl, slip, pearl. And let's just make sure this will do it. Pearl, slip, pearl, slip. So that'll be just fine. And you just continue in this pattern. We knitted our last round, so we know that we're going to be doing the slip pearl row. So again, I look at this. This was a slip stitch last time, so I know this will be pearl. Pearl, slip, pearl, slip, pearl. Let's pearl that one. And then we're gonna slip the next one and pearl. Slip. And pearl. And then our next round we knit. And we just keep doing this until your desired length. You can make it however long, however short you want it to be. You can make it a crop top, or you can make it extra long, or just regular, whatever you want to do. So we started with the pearl, and let's just double check. Pearl slip, pearl slip. Awesome. It's gonna turn out so good. My body's done. For the medium size, I did 18 inches, just starting here to there. What we do is first change our needle to our smaller size. We are going to do a knit one, purl one rib for six rounds. Also, if you ended on like this was a purl and this was a slip, you will want to start with a purl one knit one. So you will want to purl wherever there is a purl. So this would be my knit. Oh, where's my stitch marker fell? We knit our first stitch and our next stitch has a purl underneath. So we know we need to purl. And then we knit and purl, knit and purl. Just keep doing this to the end of the round for six rounds. We did our six rows and this is our ribbing. Now we just bind off. We knit two stitches, grab your first stitch, bring it over your second stitch and off. We knit another one. There you go. And that's what it'll look like. I wouldn't bind off too tight 